great to be here with financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. Hi, everyone. Megan Mozak, and so pleased you've tuned in today. This is the Retirement Education Hour. It's a great time for you to get a download of some of the biggest topics that are facing you as a retiree, a soon-to-be retiree. We really want you to be educated. That is the goal of the Retirement Education Foundation. And speaking of that foundation, we want to make sure you're signed up for the foundation's courses. These are deep dives into retirement planning, really like a master's level course on retirement planning. And these are held at major colleges and universities right in your community. We make this easy for you to get registered, to get that front row seat. We want to see you there. You can meet financial instructors like Kirk and Paul. Here's how you register. Go to the website. It's retirementplanningedu.org. That website, again, is retirementplanningedu.org. The phone number, if you'd like to call to register, is 800-240-8981. 800-240-8981. If you're in Michigan listening today, these courses are held at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, Oakland University, another option for you in the state of Michigan. If you're listening today from the state of Missouri, these are held at the University of Missouri, also at Columbia College. And if you go to that website, you're going to find a complete list of locations, dates, and times. Find one that works for you. Also want to mention, speaking of Missouri, that the Retirement Education Foundation, they are proud partners of Mizzou Athletics. Now, this program, great show for you today. We've been diving into how to interview for your correct fit for a retirement planner. I want you to keep in mind, if you missed anything at the beginning of the show or you want to listen again, you can do that. Find this program wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Simply search for Retirement Education Hour. All right, we're going to get down to some actionable items here, Kirk and Paul. When we're interviewing financial advisors for retirement planning, what are some of the questions we should be asking them? Well, the first question you need to ask is around income planning. Okay, so everyone is going to try to talk to you about the investments you should invest in, the annuities you should buy, and rates of return, historical rates of return, some future rates of returns, which, you know, it's ironic. If you all just go to our charity's website, and go look at the sample plan. We spend, we do a 30, 40 minute webinar walking you through what a real retirement plan should look like, a sample plan. What you'll notice on that plan is we're using a projected around three, a little over 3% growth rate over their entire lifetime. But that plan shows a 65 year old with $2 million saved, creating $160,000 of income per year. So, We are showing distributions of 8% per year, starting at 65 years old, 8% a year increasing over their lifetime at 65 years old, but only using a 3% projected growth rate on all the investments. And there is a zero chance of outliving your income. That is a bulletproof plan. Walk through the sample. You'll hear why you will never outlive your income. There's long-term care protections. Everything's there. The reason why is instead of just being focused on investments and growth rates, it's you got to focus on your income planning. And what is going to drive success in retirement is managing something called sequence of returns risk. That is the number one risk to your retirement plan, which, by the way, if you go to our website, we have white papers and interactive calculators explaining to you sequence of returns risk. That is the number one risk. And essentially what we're trying to do, Paul, and I'll let you elaborate, is all we're going to do is instead of market timing investments, we market time income. We just pivot to different accounts depending on the market conditions, which are totally unpredictable. So we know it's going to go up and down throughout retirement, four to seven major market events. So when we have bad market events, we're going to pivot and pull money from the right accounts, not the wrong accounts. So growth rate becomes less of a factor in driving success but income planning is the 100% driver of success in retirement, Paul. Yes. Yeah, so, so I, th- I think if we get back to, so the question, you know, what should these people be asking their advisor? I think the first question you're saying is, okay, how are you advisor going to manage sequence of returns risk? How are you going to allow me to take the money I want, 
without any risk that I'm going to be in trouble later in my life if we have market corrections. And the one thing I would say is, if the answer is, we'll go to cash, or if the answer is, you'll spend less when we have a recession, those are bad answers, right? We don't want to spend less because they don't want to do their job, right? You want to live your life in retirement and enjoy it regardless of the market. So those should not be answers. So you want to know what are they going to do? How are they going to create pivot accounts? What are they going to do when the market crashes to make sure? And, and, and if they say, well, we have this Monte Carlo simulation, nurse, don't worry. You have an 80% chance of success. That's not an answer either, is it, Kirk? It's not, Paul. So what they're going to say is, well, we got a special portfolio. It's, you know, we've built in algorithms to reduce standard deviation, to reduce the volatility of the portfolio, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. It's all garbage. It's nonsense. The value proposition that the financial service industry only sells is that they can manage money better than you can or better than the index. And the answer, that's not true. They're not better. No one is better. Like nobody. Come to the class and we'll give you the data. There's not been one money manager that has been able to stay in the top quartile for five consecutive years. 40% of all mutual funds fail after 10 years. Actively managed mutual funds are performing at 3.98% over the last 30 years, and the index is performing at over 10%. Literally, all you had to do is put a million dollars in the S&P 500 over, uh, uh, 20 years ago, and you'd have over $6.5 million today. They're lying. It's not true. It's, that's not what's going to drive your success in retirement. It's not what you invest in or how you manage a portfolio. That's garbage. It's not true. That's why they tell you, you got to protect your principal. Like Paul said, protect your principal and spend less during times of market volatility. That's crazy. Did you spend less when you had a job working for somebody else your whole life? Every time we had a major market event? No, because you had a job, you had a paycheck. You need to make sure you have a paycheck that doesn't go down or go up during different market conditions. It's irrelevant what the market condition is. You have to build a plan that can manage, you can manage your income and pull it from another source during times of market volatility to manage that sequence of returns risk. Paul, this is a big part of the class, sequence of returns risk and managing income. So again, this is why the class is eight hours. These plans that we're going to teach you take us in our private practice 50 to 80 hours to build for our individual clients. We're like a family office. And what we're trying to teach you is what the family office, high net worth families have access to. We're teaching it to you in the class. So just sign up for one of these classes. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we will return more with Kirk and Paul on the other side of the break. <laughs> 